and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be slightly different than what you are used to because it's going to be a gear organization transformation. But first, story time. Once upon a time, I moved to a new house with high hopes to build a nice, neat storage space in the garage for my hiking and backpacking gear that looks like this, this, or maybe this. And then the coronavirus hit, or at least that's what I'm trying to tell myself, that project got deprioritized so that we can focus on better things like backpacking in the Badlands or climbing to the highest peak of South Dakota or seeing Mount Rushmore for the first time and a couple of other things in between. And instead, I came up with the temporary solution of using this storage space in the house to organize all the hiking and backpacking gear that was just rotting in the garage. And it changed from this into this. And this is what you are going to watch next. So enjoy the show. All right, so I started by bringing all of the hiking and backpacking gear that I own in one spot, and that's the hallway. So a lot of backpacks, sleeping bags, tents, trekking poles, some knickknacks, and it was really helpful to kind of look at everything that I have, go through it, see what I use on a regular basis, things that I don't need, see if I have to donate them or throw them. So that was very helpful. And it's just amazing how I was able to find in every single room a piece of gear. All right, so now let me introduce you to this messy, embarrassing storage space in my house that clearly has tons of unnecessary things, things that I probably never use. Oh my God, look at this bag. It's probably six years old and I never used it before. But anyway, so just a lot of go up the chair, down the chair, try not to break anything, get rid of things that I don't need. And that's going to be the new home for my backpack in here. Yay, I'm making progress. All right, giving it the thumbs up, looking happy, celebration dance. And yeah, that's looking much better. So I kind of knew that I wanted to start with the big threes, and that is backpacks, sleeping system, including sleeping pads, sleeping bags, pillows and hammocks, and the tents. So the first shelf I dedicated it for the sleeping bags just because it was a little bit higher and larger than the other ones. And I was very happy that I was able to fit all of the backpacks in one spot. So these are pretty much our backpacking bags, our bags for day hikes, and then some small camel bags for running and such. And then the second shelf, I dedicated this one to tents. I have pretty much a four people tent and then a two people tent and two camping chairs, one for me, one for Alex. And then I also placed this lamp, this lonely little lamp that we got for a car camping trip to New Mexico, I believe. And I really like this lamp because it had the USB plug, so I was able to use it to charge my phone at night. And then the third shelf, I dedicated it to sleeping bags. We have a couple of them with different temperatures and then sleeping pads, pillows, and hammocks. So that's starting to look a lot nicer. And I was happy to get all the big trees out of the way just because they are bulky and they take a lot of space. So now that I got most of the heavy bulky gear out of the way, I'm going to spend a good amount of time on these little knickknacks just to kind of organize them and categorize them so that it's easy for me to store. All right, so next are the little knickknacks and that was not my favorite part just because I had to go through everything and sort in details. So a bunch of hats I see there. I'm giving it the thumbs up, I'm not sure why. But yeah, so a bunch of electronics, gloves, I actually see cheese sticks there. What is it doing there? 
That's embarrassing. Oop, dumped everything. Some board games, trekking poles, hats, toiletry. So the plan was to come up with the categories just so that it's easier. I see that I'm putting all the toiletry in that box there. Batteries. Oh, that's a game. It's actually a board game that we bought from one of the national parks. It was really fun to play. Oh, Dreamcatcher. See hand warmers, ropes. Holy moly. <laughs> I don't think that I own a lot of gear. But at the same time, when I look at this, it just makes me think that it's still a lot. The only time I probably used hand warmers was in Yellowstone because the temperature was really brutal. It was so very cold. Not the best categorization style, but it's a start. So I've got utensils, knives, maps, electronics. In the gear, I've got hygiene stuff, I've got headlamps, sunscreen, tape. So I knew that I needed additional bins for storage, but I didn't want to buy them randomly. So instead what I did was grab a pen, grab a piece of paper and try to plan it out ahead of time. And I basically just draw shelves and boxes based on the categories that I identified. And so that really helped me plan how many bins I needed. And from there, I took a trip to the targets nearby as well as home goods. I initially wanted to go with the white and gray as a color palette, but I didn't find a lot of options. So instead, I ended up with gray and pink and I really liked these boxes or bins because they were covered and I had an option to either keep the lid on or remove it based on what I want to do with it. I got some more containers, these two baskets here that I got from Home Goods, and then I got this large one for heavier items. Probably water bladders will fit good in here, especially that it's open and I can reach easily. And I already see that I have two boxes on the shelf there. So I used one of them for the propane canisters as well as the jet boil. And then the larger one, I dedicated it for gloves. And I was actually very surprised at how many winter gloves I have. And then the other two bins, just fighting my way through cutting the piece of plastic there. But I used one of them for sunscreens as well as toiletry. Yep, that's exactly what it is because I can see my gold girl. And the second bin, I used it for hand warmers as well as emergency blankets. I love, love, love emergency blankets. I take them with me on pretty much every hike. Never use them, but they can come in very handy in emergencies. And I probably use this bin to store my covers, my rain covers. So that worked out pretty well. And then I use this gray bin to store all of the hydration bladders that we have, as well as some of our filtration systems. This is what I use to filter the water if we are going on backpacking trips and we need water for cooking as well as drinking. I'm using it to store some cups as well. Oh, never mind, no cups. And cover that. Put it on the shelf and we're grooving. I don't have footage for the next shelf, but I pretty much just followed the same with additional bins and I stored my crampons, my rain gaiters and some electronics. And the last step, I placed some hooks on the door to place my beautiful dream catchers. And I just thought that it's going to give it a bit more personality and now they will have a place to call home because they were just thrown everywhere. 
I remember that Alex gifted me two of them and then the third one was given to us during uh, our tour in Antelope Canyon. So I am very happy with the result. This looks very nice so far. I'm happy that I was able to fit everything in there. I was hoping that I can also place hiking shoes and boots in there, but I didn't have enough space. But this was good enough as a temporary solution. And I'm really happy with the result. I don't know if you guys will find value in this video, but I know that some of you over on Instagram really liked it when I was sharing daily updates. And some of you helped me actually pick the colors for the bins because I was just kind of lost in there and indecisive so thank you guys for helping me out and if you haven't followed us on instagram please do because we share the behind the scenes of all of our adventures so thank you guys again for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel your trekking pals habiba and alex and we'll see you soon on a new adventure bye